What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you a crazy golden gun glitch as well as an outbreak of rage last night over on Twitter over three weapons coming to Destiny 2 later today with Season of the Forge. Shit got heated people and it was hilarious but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video don't let show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so last night over on twitter bungie tweeted out mini videos of the new pinnacle weapons available in season 5 if you've been hiding away from social media and have no idea what i'm talking about basically much like the lunar's howl and i'm not forgotten from season 4 these are Crucible's Pinnacle Weapons. Within Season 5, which drops later today, there are three Pinnacle Weapons. One for Crucible, one for Vanguard, and one for Gambit. Each is locked behind quests, uh, which upon completing reward you these weapons. The quest lines and how you get these I've covered already. That video you will find linked within the video description if you are curious. The three weapons we know little information on. But that was it. Without gameplay, we really didn't know how weapons would impact the game. Last night, Bungie dropped three videos of said weapons over on Twitter. The Vanguard weapon is a fusion rifle. What's special about this is, if your clip is full, the opening shot does more damage and makes enemies explode. Sounds great, and we can see that in action on screen now. Charge time from what we see looks pretty average. Projectile spread looks quite tight. This could be quite good. We see it has 7 bullets in its clip and can hold 9 as standard in reserves. Now I picked up on this the other day. That full clip's opening shot does extra damage and causes targets to explode. Without the Warlock's Rift, nothing is stopping you firing one shot and reloading and getting those benefits again. I mean in PvP this could be quite brutal but the fact it has 7 shots to fill its clip is kind of exploit you won't see very often that's for sure. But overall the fusion rifle looks semi decent. Next weapon is a Gambit Auto Rifle the Breakneck. This special perk allows you to fire faster as Rampage stacks. So get a kill, it fires quicker, another kill even quicker. And as Rampage stacks up to three times, it fires even quicker. Instances in rifts behind barricades, this could be deadly and the Auto Rifle does indeed look quite promising, that is for sure. This will be probably the first one I chase, I'm uncertain yet though. And lastly guys, the weapon which caused a lot of uproar upon it first being announced and since the video dropped yesterday on Twitter shit has hit the fan. So we see the Crucible Pinnacle weapon right here. This is a grenade launcher kinetic weapon called the Mountain Top. Yes you heard it right it's a kinetic weapon. This thing fires in a straight line also and explodes on impact and has a much faster projectile speed than a normal grenade launcher. Direct impacts will kill you on a direct hit even if you're fully healthed which is just crazy. This is where she actually got nuts. The amount of hate bunch received after posting this footage was just, just, just out of this world. People claiming for the head jobs, people complaining about the state the game will become due to this, content creators getting blocked by devs and so forth. I'm sitting here like... And you know what guys, I kind of understand where these people are coming from. I can kind of understand why they're upset. I mean, you always get the voices of reason coming through also, stating, well, all we see here is the weapon that close quarters. It only has one shot per clip, etc. Et so that's fine, that is true. But in my opinion, that isn't the point people are making in their complaints. The point is, part of the quest of getting this mounting top is to spam grenade kills in PvP, both comp and casual. Grenade launchers for the most part are already annoying as heck. Many many complaints have been made about them already and in return Bungie drop a weapon like this which has gone against what most people want. This is why people are getting upset. Yeah for sure it's only a game but Destiny 2 and Forsaken going forward were seriously promising. The changes Bungie made were the right ones. They seem to be listening. They were delivering. Now it seems as though they are back to their old tricks. It's like yeah we will hype everybody up by pretending we are listening and delivering. Then we will ruin the game by adding bullshit make it in such a state no one gives a shit about it anymore and then a few months later we will drop out a major update fixing some things and getting people hyped to play it again I mean it's been like this since day one Destiny 1 I'm confused as to their thinking here to me it doesn't bother me that much the Telesto bothers me more than any grenade launcher but still that hasn't been fixed but even so it still doesn't bother me to the point of me actually getting real life mad over it damn I'm like yeah I will just stop playing and I'll go and hop on Red Dead end of but people are taking this shit way too seriously. I mean, it's a damn game, people. Yes, it's changed lives, it's changed mine, but it's still just a game. I don't understand why people are getting so upset over it. 
But that on another note, it's early days yet. I mean, I could be back in a month with a late video stating I am quitting this shit due to grenade launches being spammed in every game. I can actually see that now. And this is the reason many people are complaining over on social media. They don't want the game to fall. They want the game to be great. I guarantee you guys the next chart for most PvP weapons used will be grenade launchers at the top. I guarantee it now. And I know Bungie's reason of thinking in making this grenade launcher the pinnacle PvP weapon is because they are the least used and they want to add balance. I'm afraid though folks that is not how you add balance. It will completely shift PvP from what it is now. I guarantee that. Even though it's not entirely balanced at the minute, it's still in a better state now than what I remember it's been in recent years, that's for sure. But we will see people, we will see. I do have a feeling though all these bad intuitions people are having will come true. It really will. I mean I can just see PvP now just being one grenade fuck fest. But what do you people think about this? Let me know down below in that comments section. Do you think people are overreacting over just a game? Do you think they've got reason to overreact? Let me know. Now we're going to move on people and now we have a glitch and this is with the golden gun. So basically you can make your golden gun six shooter last way, 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 way longer. And it's pretty simple to do. Pop your six shooter golden gun when your super is ready. Then simply switch your helmet to the celestial nighthawk exotic. And every kill you get then will restore a third of your super energy bar back. Meaning you can literally cruise around the map having that golden gun at your disposal. And it lasts in minutes. Yep, absolutely crazy guys. Try it out. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. It really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn notifications on. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Will carry on We never get it right